Um, we begin with breaking news out of Prince George's County this morning. A 7-Eleven left wide open after thieves used a car to bust through the store and attempt to steal an ATM. Evan Kozloff live in Upper Marlboro with us this morning. So Evan, I think the big question is, is what did the thieves manage to get away with? Well, right now what we're what we're seeing is that the ATM is still there, not having the best states and some bad shape, but yes, it's still there. So at this point, it's an attempted theft of this ATM. But regardless for the folks here at the 7-Eleven, you know, they, they've got this huge hole in the front of the building. And, and if all of this looks familiar, that's because we had something that was very similar back in March. It was March 13th when somebody rammed a vehicle into a 7-Eleven in Lanham. And at that in that situation, they actually got away with the ATM. But uh, this one, this case here, the ATM still there. All happened at 2:45 in the morning. And right now, Prince George's County Police they're they're taking a look at the surveillance video, trying to get a look at the vehicle. They've not told us what the vehicle looks like or what any of the suspects look like. And then the big question that that we have is are the two incidents related obviously very similar both 7-elevens both using a vehicle to crash into it uh, to try and steal the atm in the lanham case they actually lied on top of the employees to keep them safe while they did it uh, we haven't heard any details quite like that for this one but yes Shocking visuals here in Upper Marlboro. Larry, send it back to you. Evan, it's interesting. You described how the suspects in this case lied on top of uh, the store clerks, which is the same situation that happened in Lanham that you reported on. Well, no, what I was saying there, Larry, sorry about the, mis the confusion there. I was saying that's what happened in Lanham. We haven't heard any of those details yet. Uh, this case here. At this All right, thanks for clarifying. We'll let you know as soon as we do hear anything. Okay, we appreciate the clarification, Evan. Thank you so much. And we are, as we learn more about this case, of course, we'll be posting information on our mobile app and our website, WSA9.com. We have more.